All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakakwadash. You know, sing praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, which the world calls God. Yahweh Shah being the true name of His only begotten Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is all in the Hebrew tongue, which is the Paleo. The ancient, the ancient Hebrew, you know, you know, which, which, the, which is the truth, which is the true language, the holy tongue, you know, which, which the world really don't want to receive, man. You know, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the hopeful elect, man. To the few sisters that listen and subscribe, Shalom to you, you know, to the Akim that's pushing his truth and sincerity and, 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 and holiness, you know. And in love, hey, Shalom, you are your man. You know, you brothers just trying to uh, help seal the elect, try to do the bidding. You have This is Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 2. It said, Hear, O heavens, and hear ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up the children, and they have rebelled against me, man. It's talking about basically going, going back into. Um, Going back into Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6, you know, in the time of Moses bringing up the children of Israel from under the bondage of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, you know. What would that be? I think Ramses, Ramses the second, you know. Um, they say, uh, hear, o, hear, O heavens, hear, O heavens, and give ear, I mean, and, and give ear, O earth. For the for the Lord have spoken, Yahweh, for Yahweh have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. This is even after Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, I mean Yahweh, which Yahweh Shai is actually he was back then as well, you know. Because Yahweh, he actually he 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 guided us out of the land of Egypt, you know. I mean, but you know that's another lesson for another time. Um but you know, through through the most high Yahweh, through his father, man. Got us out of Egypt. And and, and they gave laws unto Moses to give them to the children of Israel, right? Which you, which today consists of so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And I pray that this lesson is edifying, man. You know? It's gonna be short and straight to the point. It says, um, and they have rebelled against me. And and the children of Israel fell under curses. For rebelling against the Most High, you know, according to the Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, we fall under curses because why we diso we 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 disobeyed the voice of our our Father, which is in heaven, man, which which speaketh through His holy prophets, you know, which which the prophets are the mouthpieces of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai put the Spirit on His prophets, which are men. To delay his messages to the rest of his people, man. But, you know, just like nothing is new under the sun, our people continue to go off and uh, rebel against Yahweh Shem Shai, which, which actually, which led us into captivity according to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Not just 68, but Deuteronomy chapter 28, period, man. Which, 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 which put us under... Heathenistic nations, you know what I'm saying? Which put us under the enemy, man. You know? Which had us to go off and uh discontinue from our heritage, according to the scriptures, man. You know? It said, the this is Isaiah 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Yasharala, which is Israel, which is the princes of the power, which is the holy nation, do not know which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You do not know. You know, you don't know that you're the children of Israel. You don't know that you belong to the Most High, man. You don't know that you the you are the chosen people of the earth, man. You know? You don't know how about Shmuel Shai? He he chose you out of all nations upon the earth. You know, according to the book of Deuteronomy, what's that is 76 Amos chapter 3 and 2. Uh 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 Slack, yeah, uh 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and, and, and many other scriptures, man. 
Jacob, my, my, my firstborn, right? I have surnamed you, man. You know? Even the Lord is going to pay back enemies, his enemies for what, what they have done unto his children, man. Which is the apple of his eye. The Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel do not know and my people do not consider. Even though Yahabashim Yahushua sent forth his prophets to push to you that you are the children of the Most High. You are not the Egyptians, man. You are not the damn Egyptians. You are not Pharaoh King Tut. You are Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's people, man. You are Yasharala, man. We did your most have surnamed us, man. We are the true princes of the power, man. You know, we're the kings of the earth, man. We are whose salvation is for ultimately. You know, knowing that only two thirds of our people, well, only, I'm going to say, on the elect, but two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed, man, on this side, man. But ultimately, salvation, Isaiah 45 and, uh, what is it? 45 and 17. Salvation is for Israel, man. You know? You should not, you should not be a, a, a confined world without end, man. You know? Everything will be placed in its proper lot. Everybody is coming back in their proper place, man. I can't, I, Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner. And the ass his master's crib, which are two dumb animals, man. And these animals know where they belong. They know their masters, man. These animals know their masters, man. They know who they belong to. But Israel do not know. My people do not consider. See, our people go through every way with doctrine, man. Every religion, man. Our people want to be part of everything else. Whatever the world says, okay. Whatever the world say you belong to, man. Whatever these 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 niggas. Who got all this fame and money, whatever these niggas want to adapt to, that's what you niggas want to follow, man. When you don't know these niggas been set up for your destruction, man. You know? These niggas been set up to mislead you and misguide you away from your power, man. Which is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Yahweh being the true name of Yahweh, which is um, the true name of God, man. You know, Yahweh Shai being the true name of JC, Jesus Christ, right? Yahweh mean he is, man. He to be, right? He exists. Yahweh Shai means he is salvation, man. You know, Yah meaning he is, right? Salvation. The scripture even tell you, man, it, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, man. The righteous run into it, then it's safe. The scripture even tell you, praise ye the name of the Lord. Oh, oh you saints, man, his saints. You know what I'm saying? Which is the children of Israel, man. We got to praise the name the name of the Lord, man. Not what you what you what you think deem as a title, you know. And, and you got most niggas that they don't even want to do that, man. They would have called the Lord whatever they would have called him, man. It's power in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know. But these niggas don't know, man. These niggas, they want to call the Lord Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah. You know what I'm talking about, man? They want to call the Lord Elohim. They want to call the Lord everything but who he is, man. They don't want to listen to the prophets, man. Those brothers who actually hate it for the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They don't want to listen to those brothers who actually go into the scriptures, into the mysteries of the scriptures, man. Who actually occupied in prophecy, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Which is the testimony of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Isaiah 1 and 3. The owner is Shalak, the Shalakia. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel do not know. My people do not consider. Ah, a sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. Iniquity, man, which is sin on top of sin, man. A seed of evildoers. Children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord, Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of 
Israel, man. Of Yasharala, the Holy One of Israel. Throughout the whole scriptures, throughout the whole Bible, it talks about the Holy One of Israel, the God of Israel. He who, he, he that's, uh, that, that shall not seek after the God of Israel shall surely be put to death, whether it be man or woman, you know? Right. You know, even, even children, man. Isaiah 1 and 4 again. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. From, from, from the time Yahweh Bashem Yahushai gave Noah the, the commandments to give to his people, our people be going off, man. Worshiping other gods, committing idolatry, com uh, eating un unclean flesh. You know what I'm saying? Our people sacrificing their children on altars, you know? Worshiping the God of Our people have been going the fuck off, man. But y'all about some shot from to put an end to these niggas, man. Y'all about some shot from to put an end to these niggas, man. On this side, and he's finna bring these niggas back in their right fucking mind, man. Which is gonna last forever, man. Cause once these, once this new covenant is established, that's it. Our enemies would no no longer reign over us, man. Our power, our Lord, our Savior, our King, the apostles, you know, the governing body. Yasharala is going to reign, man. In that order, man. Our sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. And that's why the Lord is going to kill these niggas, man. That's why the Lord is only going to preserve the remnant. You know? That's why the Lord is going to send in the enemy again, man. That's why the Lord got Jacob's trouble set for these niggas, man. A lot of these niggas got to die. That's why the Lord got this sword out. Finna, finna man have to and, and put these niggas in line, man. And that's what the Lord, Zechariah 13 and 8, man. Let me run over there right quick, man. And I'll be right back to Isaiah 1. Zechariah 13 and 8. Let me start at 7, man. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd. And against the man that is my fellow, said the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered, man. And I will turn my hand upon the little ones. And it shall come to pass that in, the, in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And that's talking about in today's time as well, man. Ain't nothing, nothing new under the sun, man. This is before the Lord come, man. Two parts shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And what the Lord is going to do with the third, and I will bring the third part through the fire. And will find them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried, man. You know? And you try gold with fire, man. You will find silver with fire, man, to get off, to, to take away and, 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 and do away with the impurities, man. You want that fine silver, like the scriptures say. Oh, Isaiah, what did it, Isaiah 32? Right back to Zechariah 13, man. Isaiah 32. Isaiah 32, Slocky. Isaiah 32 in verse, um, let's start at 1, man. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and a prince shall rule in judgment. Talking about Yahweh Shai, man, and the 144,000 that rule under Yahweh Shai. That is actually under Peter, King David, man. A man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. As rivers of water in a dry place. You know? As rivers of water in a dry place, man. Like, let's say, man, you stranded in the damn desert, man. And the only thing you're thinking about is, is water, man. Because you, you want to be hydrated, man. 
A damn desert to hydrate you because a desert consists of heat, you know? And what heat do? Heat draw up water, man. And you be drawn up, you know? As rivers of water in a dry place in a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And that, and that land is weary, man. Only thing you want is shadow shade, man. That's the only thing you want. You want shade, which is a protection from the damn UV rays, which is the sun, man. Why? Because you don't want that heat. You, you don't want to be drawn up. Neither do you want to be uh, uh, parched, man. You know? So the Lord said, a man should be a hiding place, man. And and, and I want to skip on down right here. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Scripture, I really want. Bear with me. Salak, Salak. Salak, you. Bear with me. Um, hold on, did I just get this one? Nope, this is it right here. I said thirteen. Going back, <clears throat> and the man should be as a hiding place. Right? This is Isaiah 32 and 2. And the man should be as a housing place from the wind and as a covert from the tempest, as rivers of waters in a dry place, as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Right? Going uh, Isaiah 13 and verse... And this is this is good, man. All this is good, man. But I'm gonna get straight to the point, man. You know, precept upon precept, right? Verse um, Isaiah 13 and 12. And that will make a man more precious than fine gold, man. You know, going back over to uh, that's Isaiah 13. Going back over to Zechariah chapter 13. Zechariah 13 and verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire. And I will find them as silver as refined. And I will try them as gold as tried. And, and they shall call upon my name. The Lord said that one third is going to call upon his name, man. Why? Because that one third has his actual name. If the one third did not have the Lord's actual name, that scripture wouldn't even be there, man. And they should call upon my, the scriptures didn't say, they should call upon my title, man. The Lord said, and they should call upon my name, and I will hear them. And I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power, man. You know? And that, that, and that word, Lord in all caps, is the actual name of the Heavenly Father, man. Hebrew, the Hebrew, right? Salakia, the Lord, into the uh, the coordinates, all the way down, the Lord, which is, um, strong, Strong's H three thousand sixty eight, Yehovah, Yehovah, right? Yehovah. Yehovah, which is going to actually into Jehovah, which is not the name of the Lord, because we already know that the name of the Lord, the letter J, did come out to like the 1500s, man. We already know the name of the Lord, that that letter J, is don't, the name of the Lord do not start with a J, man. The Laswash Kadash, the, the name of the Lord is Yahweh, man. Yah. How what you know? Right. 
Right, we already know it's not Jehovah. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will find them as silver is refined. I will try them as gold is tried and they shall call on my name. And I will hear them. The Lord said he's going to hear us, man. You got to read Proverbs chapter 1, which might be another lesson. And I might tie it in with this and bring this scripture out them. And I will say it is my people. And they shall say the Lord Yahweh is my power, man. Yahweh is my power, man. The Lord say he will confess me before men. Which is my father, basically. See, because the Lord Yahweh Shai, I mean, the, the Lord Yahweh and our Savior Yahweh Shai are one, man. They're on the same coordinates, man. So we confess Yahweh. It's confessing Yahweh Shai, man. We confess Yahweh Shai to confessing Yahweh, man. And we believe in both. We believe in both the Old and New Testament, man, along, along with the Apocrypha, man. And we know that Yahweh Shai is the word, man. And we know Yahweh Shai come in the volume of the book. Like the scriptures tell us, man. Like Yahweh Shai say, he come in the volume of the book, man. You know? We got to believe We gotta believe in what, what, what Moses was saying, man. Then we know that we believe in Yahweh Shai, man. You know? The spirit of prophecy. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, man. Going back to Isaiah, man. Isaiah, Isaiah 13 and verse 12, man. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge offer, man. Which is pure, precious gold, man. Because the Lord said he's going to try us as gold is tried, man. You know? And to get those impurities, which represents that sin up out of us and that going off, we gotta be we gotta be thrown through the fire, man. You know, Lord willing, so we can get those incorruptible bodies, man. So our bodies can be changed in the twinkling of an eye, man. Why? Because these bodies, which are the chains of darkness, represent our our, our weak weak weakly nature, man, which is our our flesh, man. You know, which these bodies are corruptible, man. And these body and these bodies we sin and we go off, man. You know? Even though we want to serve the Lord the best of our abilities, we still go off, man. But the Lord said, hey, we're gonna call upon his name and he's gonna hear us, man. Lord willing, we part of the elect, man. Without it being said, Lord willing, I hope that it was edifying. First of all, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Shem Shah. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the hopeful leg, man. Shalom. Baba Baal, Kwame, Yasharala.